but and it supports but and but is basically it stands for business intelligence and reporting tool uh, it's supported by eclipse which is an open source reporting system for web application especially the ones that are developed in java or j2 ee okay but uh, but can be used but is used to do for developing rich reports that can have list of data or you can use it to um, to display graphs and charts for the numerical data you can also have cross tabs with in two dimensional uh, to display two dimensional data such as web pages uh, versus number of heads you can also use that to develop documents you can have a report with sub report that consists of logo um, contact information title page uh, chart graph um, list of data and anything that you need in a report you can even use a corporate color screen scheme and you see ss to design your um, report but report but let's take a look at the but architecture it can be broken down into two components but designer that's based on the eclipse and report engine that runs on the app server it has four parts to it the data source part that consists of any database it does support jdbc connection xml web services it it can read information from flat file and java ob, ob you can call java objects also the second uh, part is the data transform services that it provides for grouping filtering calculation and so on the third part is the business logic layer where you can convert the data from raw data to a user uh, friendly data using business logic or program uh, languages uh, but does support uh, but's javascript that you can use or you can also call java code the fourth layer is the presentation layer that allows you to uh, lay out your report uh, or design the layout for your report and that the report can consist of image text table uh, charts graphs and so on you can have uh, a single data set can appear in multiple different ways in a report and a re single report can uh, present data from multiple data set also okay. it does support um, you you can save the information in html format a pdf format excel, excel uh, word presentation uh, powerpoint presentation and you can even print it to send it to the printer okay so now if you're starting um, if you want to learn how to use but or develop report using but to the first step would be to download but from eclipse uh, website if you do do need this presentation we can email it to you um, contact shaku and uh, shaku her email was listed earlier and we will also list it at the end and she will be able to provide you all these links so you can download the bird from eclipse if you select all in one option that will uh, download all the four components that are required to generate bird report that includes eclipse platform graphic editor framework eclipse modeling and bird report designer the second thing you would need is a database mysql is an open source database that you can download and use to connect uh, but report to in order to connect to mysql you will need a java connector so you can download that from mysql and you may have to set up some um, few variables on your system in order to connect to um, mysql So what are the steps involved in creating a BERT report? First of all, you need to start Eclipse. 
once you've started Eclipse, create a report project and open the report project in project report perspective. A report can have a project can have one or more report file. So you need to create a report file, connect to a data database, uh, create a query for your results uh, results. So that's the data set. And once you have created the data set, uh, add the data set to your report. You can preview the report and change the format or layout of the report. Once you're satisfied, save the report. I'm going to go through a demo to show you how a report is created using BERT uh, and Eclipse. This is a simple report which displays a logo and um, t contact information. It also displays supplier contact uh, contact information. It has the supplier ID, first name, last name, city, contact, and uh, phone number. The, it has been formatted to display the header as blue color and the first row text in the first row to be white color. It also displays the time and date and time when the report was created. You can also save the report. You can pick and choose uh, the field that you want to save on your desktop. And it'll save it as CSV file. Click OK and that'll allow you to save the file on your desktop. You can also save file in different format if you like. In an Excel format, PDF format, PostScript, Word, and PowerPoint. Click OK and that will allow you to save on your desktop. The other third option is to print it to your printer. Okay, So let's take a look how this report was created. I have created a, um, a, a page, a report with already a logo and um, contact information. So when you open Eclipse in a uh, report design perspective, you will see these four screens. So let's go over these screens. This is a data explore screen that consists of data source. It will data source and data set and also any parameters that you might be using in a report. Here is your this is a navigator window which will display the report and any uh, report that are associated with that project. This is the property editor uh, window which will display the properties of the element that you select in your report designer. And this is the workspace where you will be do doing most of the work for laying out the design for the report. Okay, so let's take a look at now uh, data source. Data source is the connection to the database. The database that's being used for this report is a MySQL and it's using JDBC connection to MySQL. The na name of the database is My Company. That's the username, password. So you want to test the connection first before you move forward with your project. Once it's successfully connected, click OK. OK. And I've already created a data set. So the second, next step, once you have checked your database connection, you want to create a data set. So let's take a look at this data set. This is a query and just a simple query which selects all the fields from supplier table. This displays right here you can see all the tables that are associated with that database. The supplier, all, these are all the columns that's associated with the, that table. You can preview the result. Once you're satisfied with the result, click OK and you have created a data set. This data set could be dragged and dropped onto your lay page layout. And here you have all the fields. This is the header record. And let's say I don't want to display a status in our report. I can right click and delete it. I don't want to display address to field. Right click, delete. And let's say I want to color my header as background color being blue. Click OK. And I want my text to be white. 
click OK, and I want it to be bold. And let's say we want it left aligned. Okay, now I want to preview my report and see the result sets. Right here we have a report that has the logo already, um, that has the logo based on our design, the text, the contact information, the, um, the fields that we had selected or the columns that we had selected in our data set and based on our design.